Hey everyone, it's been a while since my last book haul, so it's time. So today I have six books for you. Um, obviously I bought a lot more books in the last couple of months, but I kept buying them like two at a time, or maybe three, and then I'd read them and go on to the next couple. Um, so you can't really do a book haul that way. And also if I like save them up for a book haul, then you'd already have seen all of the books in like uh, wrap up videos or um, you know discussion videos or something like that. So I just didn't feel like it would be a good idea. But these are all new, so I'm excited to show you. The first book that I got was a Torch Against the Night by Sabata here. I got the first book in Ember in the Ashes last year. Um, I really enjoyed that book. It took a while for me to pick up the second one, but I finally have it. Um, this is a sort of fantasy series about this sort of Spartan Roman Empire, and we follow a couple of characters who come from a very different background and that have to work together in order to um, you know, achieve their goals. I can't really say much more than that, because this is the second book. Um, I don't know if it's a series or a trilogy or whatever, but I'm really excited to read this. Then I got Frozen Tides and Crystal Storm by Morgan Rhodes. This is book four and book five in the Fallen Kingdom series. Um, I started reading Fallen Kingdoms last year, and honestly, it's not my favorite thing ever, but I can't stop reading them. Um, I know there's a lot of issues with these books, that, at least for me personally, but I'm really, really curious how the story will go, so I just I wanted to read them. Fallen Kingdoms is a fantasy series in which uh, a few kingdoms um, sort of clash together and go into war. Uh, there's magic involved and like ancient gods and stuff like that. And it's really, really interesting. So yeah, I can't wait to um, see what happens. Then I got The Wrath of the Dawn and The Rose and the Dagger by Rene Adier. And I am never really a big fan of retellings per se, but this is a retelling of uh, A Thousand and One Nights. And I don't really know that story too well. I know like the general gist of it, but I don't know any details and stuff like that. So I th thought it would be cool to read anyway. Um, I'm really glad I got these covers because I've seen like the the most famous cover, the red one with like the holes in them, and I didn't really particularly like that. So I'm glad I got these instead. Um, I'm really curious how this goes. It's always a little bit dangerous when you buy a second book when you haven't read the first book, but a lot of people really love it and I'm just really curious how this goes. And the last book that I got was Winter Song by S.J. Jones. This is a story about a girl whose sister is being um, taken away by a goblin king. So it's a kind of like a fairy tale sort of, and I'm really excited to read this. I really like fairy tales, so I really wonder how this goes. I hope I like it. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Can't wait to read this as well. So I'm really excited to read all of these books. Um, my TBR was getting pretty small, so um, it was time to buy some more books. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you read any of these. I think most people have read at least one of these because some of these books are really popular. Um, so let me know what you thought, um, and I will see you next time.